Welcome. This is Stephanie from deliberatelycreative.blogspot.com and this is Deliberately Creative. Today we're doing this real pretty abstract looking watercolor and it's a doodle. It was an experiment. I was just seeing what would happen. I'm only using a Koi watercolor palette that looks like this. And there's 24 colors. It's a basic set. This little plastic case. It's a little field box. Field sketch box. That's what they call it. Koi watercolors by Sakura. Um, not sponsor. Just what I had in my, my craft box. I'm going to use a piece of 140 pound <clears throat> Strathmore watercolor that I cut down to about a six by six square. And when I do my doodling, I will be doodling with a Pigma Micron uh, 01, which is a 0.25 millimeter. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm also using a 3 eighth inch um, really fluffy brush. It's wet right now because I've already dipped it in the water. It is a 3 8 inch Lowell Cornell water, soft comfort water brush that got left in the water too long and cracked the paint. The brush still works though, so I'm not too worried about it. I brushed water on to the paper liberally. This brush here is really mop-like it's very, very um, thirsty, and it holds a lot of water, and it releases the water. This paper is not stretched. It is just being held in place with a couple pieces of artist tape up at the corners and along the side here, just to hold it in place. All right, so I'm getting my red color wet my blue color wet, and I've had this pal uh, palette of colors for so long that I don't know what the names of any of these colors are. Uh, when I got it, and it ha had the names of the colors, I wasn't really worried about what the colors were, so I tossed the piece of paper. I know I could go online, and I could probably find the information again, um, and I might, I might, I'm going to get this other blue here wet also. So this will be my light blue, my dark blue, and my red, and my green. And I'm going to try and keep my red and my green separated enough so that they don't turn to muddy colors. We'll see how that works for me.
Welcome back. All right, so we've now finished this video. We finished the card, all of the doodling, all of the flowers. I did use a white jelly roller uh, for some of the details. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would click like, subscribe, share with your friends, and as always, be creative. <laughs>